50 seconds to go in round number one. Huge round for Roy Jones so far. And Roy Jones is playing the fainting game, and Griffith is benefiting by it. Whoa, what a left hook. What a left hook. Second Over knockdown of the round. Hook. That was a leaping left hook, and Griffin may not survive it. He's got trouble. Nine. And that's that. Jones gets his vindication via a first round knockout. And it was a left uppercut. Unbelievably quick left hand shots. A barrage of them in round one by Jones. And he finishes off Griffin with a half hook, half uppercut, a la Oscar De La Hoya that landed on the button. You know, the good thing about Roy Jones, you talk about the lack of a left jab. He sees his targets, he doesn't need a jab. He's quick enough to go there without even taking the jab. I he? never thought I would ever hear you say of a fighter that he doesn't need a jab. When you've got that kind of quickness, hey, look, as long as you got the quickness, you don't need to throw anything beforehand. He doesn't need a jab. I'll never say it again, either. <laughs> This is well deserving. No one has done that to Griffin before. This is several months of anger and frustration being vented all at once in public by Roy Jones. He couldn't have written for himself a more satisfying fight script than this one. Well, this is what a champion does. There have been a few occasions in boxing history when champions have lost their titles on disqualifications and have come back to regain the title, to assert their championship caliber, and that's exactly what Roy Jones did tonight. This reminds you of Joe Lewis's revenge against Max Malik because of the emotion that Roy brought to it. Yeah, he, this, this was the most important fight of Roy Jones' life. In his mind now, this will wipe out what happened last March. And I think in the minds of most boxing fans as well. I agree.